Norman, good to see you back. Hello, good to see you, buddy. Thank you. What happened with the weight cut? Um, yeah, I don't know. The last, um, phew, usually I would say the last one pound, very tough, but last three pounds, my body just held on. Like I was in sauna for uh, for about one hour, and I and I no uh, no sweat, no nothing, and I was like, fuck, fuck. It is what it is, and I was like, here we are, back to square one again, thinking like weight is uh, under control, but. I don't know, maybe like, uh, I don't know why my body held on, like hormones, like a uh, sweat hormone just boom, stayed. So um, it is what it is, um, we fight tomorrow night and that's uh, that's what's important, so that's it. But it's not the first time, so what next? I mean with the weight cutting or the categories, you know? But uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, uh, I know they say for me to move up to welterweight, but um, I don't know about this, like if you look at me, I'm naturally lightweight fighter and um, I think maybe some more time uh, keep my weight lower of, uh, over a long period of time, like not be walking around at like 85 kilos and then cut, 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 stay at like 80 kilos all year round, stay at 80 kilos and uh, maybe it will make it easier for me to cut down, you know, maybe my body won't be so stressed but uh, um, that, that, that's where I feel like the, the improvement could be made. You seem to be very calm. Oh, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> I don't know, tell me, last time you were very, you know... No, 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 but see, the thing is, um, I don't need... This guy's... Uh, I respect the guy, judo player, former judo player like myself, so there's mutual respect there. Uh, I don't mind coming and fighting anybody in their home turf. Like, you know, I do it more than anybody, to be honest. Like, I've, I've been to Brazil two times. I've been everywhere. I fight everywhere. And, uh, you know, and I love I love the Poland people. I love the fans. I love the KSW promotion. I love the way they run, they run the promotion. So, uh... I'm glad to be a part of that there, so that's the reason why I'm relaxed is because I'm looking forward to a good fight tomorrow night. What do you know about Łukasz Klawicki as a fighter? Solid guy, yep, solid guy, good uh, you know, good judo, good grappling, his, his thing, brawler, stand on the feet. Um, he's like, not very big guy, smaller, like featherweight fighter, but he fight all different weights, he fight, he fight lightweight, he fight welterweight years, he fight, he fight tough people, you know, so um, I've got respect for him, so I just want to go out there and I can rest assure you, if we get a good clean fight, like Matthew, you can say what you want about Matthew. Dirty fucker, fuck Matthew, dirty player. I don't, I don't have time for a guy like this. But Lucas, good, respectful guy, touch gloves, we fight, no talk, no talk. But Gamer, well, you just got to put two and two together. His last fight, he takes Sully down, 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 take down, take down, take down. Easy win, easy win for Gamrot. When me. <laughs> So you can look at it whatever way you want. I think he's a dirty player and, and that's it. So, But focus on Lucas, a good, a good solid fighter who's been in there with, 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 with top fighters. He don't fight nobody's, he's fight solid people. So um, I got respect for that. But let's get back to Gammer. So you I don't want to fight him again? No, I'll fight him again, you know, but I don't think KSW, I'm a good position to talk about a rematch with, with my weight problems and stuff like this here. But... Um, when I fight Gamer first time, the, we make weight, but still like oh, still very very tough, but still I made weight. But um, I don't think I don't think KSW will be happy with me missing weight. Like so, I've got to prove to them that I can make weight before anything happens. So, but before we even go anywhere, I'm here. My feet's firmly on the ground. I got to go in here and, and beat this guy tomorrow night, and that's it. That starts tomorrow night. When I beat the guy tomorrow night, then we, we got a plan to fight who next, and then after that there. Is the judo a good background for MMA? Oh, 100%. Good for it. Some guys can translate it to uh, MMA good. Some guys don't. Like, uh, But he's... Uh, like, I've never really used it much in my fights. Before UFC and stuff like this, I used it through all the time. But now, it's uh, people know. People uh, know your style. So it, it's harder. Um, but I said to Lucas, if you ever... Whoever uh, lands a nice judo throw first time wins $500, so if he's still up for that, no problem. Yeah, really? <laughs> 100%. Uh, we can take it to $1,000, but he's getting half my purse anyway, so fuck's sake, better not, or none left. <laughs> so we want to see this, or maybe you want to knock him out? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not a knockout guy. We all, we all know that, Like, uh, but I, I'm confident I'm, I'm, I'm a good striker. Uh, I'm confident I'm confident anywhere, to be honest. You know, I feel like confident takedown defense, uh, on top control, uh, my striking, you know, so maybe this fight can be striking fight. All right, I think we're done. So thank you very much and see you tomorrow. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate thank you. it.